Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready to go. So your energies, guys, death card, eight of wands, your person's energies, king of swords, two of pentacles, meeting energies, the fool, ten of swords, focus, page of cups, knight of swords, bottom of the deck, energy of communication, quick fast sudden even unexpected uh, i kind of like it considering the eight of wands in your side of the energy uh, no harsh words because of the clarity and the truth that can be found um, within the king of swords energy five of swords bottom of the night related to this ten of swords so basically this can be about some of you leaving behind a previous situation that was not positive i am not feeling that uh, is about this person to be honest so if it is a connection uh, so two scenarios if it is a connection between some of you and some of these persons uh, king of swords uh, related there is an ending within the connection meaning something that was creating discomfort before now there is the chance to release that type of chapter embracing the power of the death card as a revolution so we have the chance to move forward in a different way the leap of faith is in favor of a new chapter the ten of swords can be about the two of pentacles as an energy something that was a juggling act for this person maybe or for the connection um this page can be an apology in this scenario that can facilitate the leap of faith together a breath of fresh air in favor of the connection this can be a scenario um the other one that was more prominent to be honest was about the fact that the ten of swords is related to the death card so for some of you quite a revolution a previous situation was not a source of satisfaction you have truly desired to uh, make a closing point about that chapter the fool comes along because it is a brand new beginning this person the king of swords may be the one that rushes in in favor of some of you guys they have uh, juggled uh, with their patience for example two of pentacles they may have been waiting for some of you and that's why the excitement no harsh words with the knight of swords in both the scenarios because the page of cups grants uh, a lovely accent even in favor of the opportunity to share an apology and um, embrace a new stage of the connection in the first scenario ego was involved so Either we release ego in the first scenario, the Ten of Swords can be the death of ego, which is positive sometimes, especially if it creates unbalanced interactions. And in the second scenario, the death card is the one that will sweep away an ego-driven type of uh, connection for some of you. So basically, as you may know, I personally love the death card, which um, is an opportunity for me to sweep away indeed leftovers from the past so that we can live an open field on an energy level and we can manifest new things more in alignment with wishes and desires. Wishes and desires that are about the chance to be fulfilled and happy because the Ten of Swords is a, a completion 
we have an ending of some sort involved but for me despite how challenging this energy can be and it can be rough there is a new dawn on the horizon so once everything has been said and done the sun will rise up again new opportunities will come in favor of those that were called to find a way to power through a scenario like this one so if in the first scenario your connection was tested by some type of behavior ego driven because this man for me wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't truly really matter if your connection has been tested that type of pattern needs to go the two of you are willing to work things out because there is clarity and truth even from some of your persons they may have been the one juggling a little bit um, some type of behavior or uh, way of doing things but they can also be the one able to provide an apology rushing in you are willing to communicate in quite an active way so that you can grant the full energy as a brand new beginning in favor of the connection this can be the first scenario the second one you are dealing with something completely different this person is out of the picture the death card will intervene towards the ten of swords leftovers from the past will be swept away so no more five of swords basically some of you guys are free to embrace a brand new chapter a leap of faith towards the future optimistic positive with the desire to embrace the journey at the fullest potential then this person comes along they have been juggling again something about the situation maybe if it is a matter of patience uh, for them or they were dealing with their own everyday life because the two of pentacles can be an energy that requires attention and focus we need to take care of something so that we can break a cycle the loop the infinite symbol and we are not stuck anymore in a situation that sees involved rough waters this person can do that king of swords beautiful energy uh, a mind that is razor sharp truth clarity speaking in a clear way uh, without space for misunderstandings positive absolutely when they know that you are free they uh, rush in knight of swords excitement the chance to talk uh, with each other eight of wands goes along cupid's arrows arrows of love quite an active uh, back and forth of communication this can be movement for some of you you can change location the fool is ready to pursue new horizons after all the page of cups is the lovely gesture that can ignite the connection in favor of you guys so this can be positive because the death card is all in favor a brand new situation a situation as it was can be completely different so if you resonate with the scenario that is about uh, an ending that was uh, a disappointing one uh, you have the chance to embrace a new chapter that can be more promising because the person that you will have the opportunity to interact with can be more fair more uh, trustworthy and they may have the desire to work things out uh, with you guys the page of cups as i usually say is a sweet act of kindness a sweet gesture of love if it is an apology in the first scenario it can go a long way because the fool is willing to embrace the journey granted the fact that we release this type of energy and so the ten of swords by the way double the energy so it can be truly about the five of swords uh, influenced interactions so despite the awkwardness and the goofiness of the pages they deserve attention because they have something important to say to share or to offer so this is encouraging even in the first scenario in the second one that is uh, the one with a major ending this is the token that can be about the uh, chance to ignite the partnership between some of you and some of your persons the fool will come also in favor of the connection after this lovely gesture a sweet act of kindness a sweet act of love is manifested there is excitement especially in the second uh, scenario guys so it seems encouraging because meaningful words can be shared 
The first one may be a little bit more challenging as a situation, because this Ten of Swords, if it is, re if it is ego driven related, truly um, requires a closing point for good, so that we can embrace uh, a new way of doing things together. So, guys, let's pull some Oracle cards for guidance. Considering these energies, let's see what we can discover. Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. This can speak definitely in favor of the first scenario because if it was uh, an ego-driven pattern involved in the connection, that is the one that needs to, to end, to be released. And you can be the one that uh, encourages your partner to grow in some sense so that the, the overwhelming emotions can be released. So, no need to fall for uh, petty fights, meaningless altercations, and so forth, only to prove a point. You are the one that can ignite the transformation with the death card, basically. Forgiveness goes along. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Ten of Swords, Five of Swords can go away. There is a heartfelt apology. You can work things out in the first scenario and embrace the full together. If you want to, of course, the energies are in favor of uh, an opportunity like that. But we have also uh, free will, absolutely. Tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. This can go uh, for the two scenarios. The first one can be about... Uh, the willingness to tolerate something but we need to change a little bit uh, what can be helpful uh, for us uh, within the connection the second one uh, the second scenario may have seen some of you um, involved in an exercise of tolerance with your previous um, partner the situation didn't work out ending brand new chapter this person can be a tolerant one just as you can be and you can work things out together because maybe this is a shared virtue between the two of you joy well this is an encouragement you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do the apology can go a long way, the full energy can move forward towards success, basically, a joyful outcome. And even the second scenario, despite the ending, the sun will rise up again, new dawn on the horizon, brand new chapter with a different person, excited to be with some of you guys. It's a transformation for you, but one that can be auspicious. Harmony, bottom of the deck, I love it because it can be a factor in favor of the two scenarios that we have seen. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything and hopefully with a special person. So basically we are uh, pursuing harmony. And you can find it in the two scenarios that uh, we have seen. Cause and effect, bottom of harmony. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Basically, if you look for harmony and you pursue it with a great clarity, you can find it and be uh, satisfied with the results. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.